the unlikely trio taking on Hulu's new mystery, Only Murders in the Building. Steve Martin, Martin Short, Selena Gomez, connecting generations with charming comedy. Chris Connolly had the chance to talk to them about it. Hey, Chris. Hello again, George. Yes, well, it's been a minute, hasn't it, since Selena Gomez could be seen on a TV series. Now for Only Murders in the Building, she's bringing her fresh energy alongside comedy legends Steve Martin and Martin Short, a trio dedicated to solving a murder, talking about it for a podcast, and making all of us laugh in the process. The intrigue of Only Murders in the Building begins with an apartment complex on Manhattan's Upper West Side, where mysteries abound. I live in one of those buildings in New York, and I've always thought of it as it could be a character because there's so many varieties of people who live there. So you always have elegant entrances, and then it starts to deteriorate. Hey, come over. With that gesture, the longtime partnership between Steve Martin and Martin Short welcomes into its comic mix multi-talented Selena Gomez. And it had been a while since I had done TV and uh, really anything um, in the acting field. So I was looking for something and this was just such a, a wonderful surprise. I also am a huge fan of true crime, so it was a no-brainer. This doesn't make sense. In this Hulu 10 episode series, the three star as New York City neighbors and true crime buffs who get their own case to crack and their own podcast to produce. Steve, why is true crime so fascinating to so many of us now? Well, uh, I have a couple of theories. One is that true crime usually has a beginning, a middle, and an end which, you know, a lot of movies and stories, they kind of, they don't end satisfyingly. So, and I've longed to do in my movie career, a crime story like that, where you're just compelled by it. You, you want to know who did it. But the blending of comedy uh, was difficult and, and this kind of blends it perfectly. That is a very good line. Badly delivered, but a good line. You don't know how many times I said to Marty, that's what you're going to do. It's true. <laughs> Steve is, um, has always talked about wishing he could do something that was perceived as a crime, as opposed to what the critics had called some of his work. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I saw it coming a mile away. Close friends for years, these two first joined their comedic superpowers on 1986's Three Amigos. My little buttercup has the sweetest smile. More recently, firing zingers at each other for a two-man Netflix special, honing the on-screen chemistry now on vivid display. Great chemistry sometimes is natural and organic, and but it is aided and abetted by um, time and working with someone. You get looser and looser and looser with each other and more trusting. You look like Anderson Cooper froze to death on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Steve and I have tremendous trust when we work with each other. Often, you know, we'll have lines and he'll say, you know what, you should say this line. It's better for you. Selena, how did you fit in so well with these two guys who have 30 plus years of history together? I was a little nervous in the beginning. So the first day of shooting, I remember I called my mom and I was like, I'm so nervous, I'm excited. And it was with Steve. Oh, you fancy. Honestly, by the end of the first take, I felt so welcome and so comfortable. And when we're not shooting, all of our chairs are kind of, you know, we were at a safe distance, but we were always three, you know, the three hanging out together. There's a scene in the first show, which uh, I love, which is I'm speaking to Selena about, I say to her, as you know, I am a director by day. And it cuts <laughs> to her face and you realize she has no idea who I am. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> kind of like real life. Yeah. Thank you so much. There's a very strong chance that the killer is musical superstar Sting. The guy from U2. Oh! Do these guys talk in a language that you sort of have to learn a little bit, Selena? Is that how it works? There are references. Sometimes there's a few you're... moments where it's like, shoo, just right over <laughs> my head. Um, but it's it's okay. I found it. I found it comforting. <laughs> Gomez's Mabel investigates alongside Short's floptastic director. I, I love satirizing people in show business who feel that their worth is way more than it is. That's always <laughs> right away makes me laugh. And Steve Martin's lonely fella actor, a one hit TV series wonder. The character is quite a stretch for me because it's about an actor who was popular in the 80s. Wow, that's <laughs> yeah. so weird. Could you relate to that at all? No, I, I, I couldn't, you know. 
Hold on. The story's twists, turns, and torrents of possible suspects leave plenty of room for the trio to connect with one another, just as they did on set, welcoming a new member to the team. Selena was right there trying to figure us out. <laughs> I still am. <laughs> And Selena telling us it didn't even feel like work sometimes. Getting to join forces with Marty and Steve. Only Murders in the Building premieres on Hulu tomorrow. They do entertain, guys. Sure looks like they do, Chris. Thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.